It may not be an art gallery or a studio, but the lush green garden helps with the inspiration. Most of these artists have never had a teacher, but their passion for creativity began at an early age. Like Ramzan, who was inspired as a child by the floral patterns he found on rocks strewn across the mountains. When the Taliban took over Swat, it became impossible to continue my work for fear that I may be killed. I was forced to do other things, but after I came back and peace was restored, I resumed my work. However, there are no buyers and it's a struggle. And despite those challenges, you will find an assortment of artists here, each busy in his own work. Anything from painting an ancient stupa or working on soft pine wood. For the more daring artists like Marwa John, life is full of burdens and the victims are always people. Sitting under a portrait of Karl Marx may be a far cry in these surroundings, but the passion for work is still alive. There may be better days ahead for people in Pakistan's Swat Valley. But the bitter memories of what happened here are still fresh. For the moment, these artists hope they'll get some help to review the region's once famous arts and crafts industry. We were hoping the government would help us in reviving art, but unfortunately they have forgotten us. We are trying to give life to the art scene once ruined by the Taliban. Our only demand from authorities is to establish an art gallery. Life may be back to normal for many people, but for the artists of this valley, it's still a struggle. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera, Swat.